Today, I am going to be telling you the real reason why you keep crashing into walls and how to fix it. So during dressage practice, this is a very common mistake. It usually happens when you are pretty close to the wall and the commander calls a curl with several different gates. I'm going to show you how crashing into the wall would look like during a curl or when a curl is called. So say I'm walking and the commander calls an orbit curl. I will curl and then I start cantering and whoops, I've already crashed into the wall and the line messes up or whatever. Many commanders say that crashing into the wall is caused by being too close to the wall. But I'm about to prove that wrong. I'm going to be as close to the wall as I can. Okay, so I'm super close to the wall now. And the commander, let's say I'm walking and the commander calls an orbit curl again. So I am going to curl. And then I will start cantering. And voila. I never crashed into the wall. And I was literally as close to the wall as you can be so how do you do this how do you stand super close to a wall and not crash into it it all lies in the timing of your canter curl if you look at a canter curl it's a lot bigger than a walk curl and i don't know that's just how a horse's movement works i guess if it's Moving at a faster pace, it has to make a bigger circle so you can stay balanced on the horse. And if I walk, then you notice that the circle is a lot smaller. By circle, I mean the curl. If you are now walking and you are doing a walk curl, and you pick up the canter right about here, then your circle is now suddenly going to be right around here. And you are going to crash into the wall because you're making your circle bigger right as you're about to turn around where the wall is. Versus if you keep walking here and then I start cantering here, then my circle will be over here and I won't make it bigger when it's at the wall. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I guess I can show it with a regular canter curl. I'm walking and then I turn and then I canter now I will crash into the wall because now my circle has been made bigger where the wall would be but if I canter now right as I start the curl then the circle will not interfere with the wall space I don't know if that makes sense I feel like that's very weird to put into words um, so what have we learned? Do not canter too early or too late because you will crash into the wall. You can be super close to the wall and not crash into it. This is a super fun game to play with your club or a dressage lesson group is to challenge them to actually do a proper girl curl with several gates and transitions and be super close to the wall. Let me know how it goes, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.